Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something with acrylic again, um, just because like I mentioned in the last acrylic video that hopefully you'll have already seen by now. I haven't used them for a while, so I thought it'd be nice to get some back involved again. So this is actually going to be a bit of a mixture because we're going to do some acrylic, but then some design on top as well. So it's going to be probably quite a long one. So I'm only doing three nails this time um, and I'm going to mix up the colours as well. So we're using a red. So we've got Scarlet and the Duchess, which is a premix glitter and then a coloured acrylic. And they're both from Tia's Beauty and then again we've got a premixed glitter and a colour to go with it so the premixed glitter is purple paradise and the colour is purple haze oh, knock them over already and then we've got teals which are just beautiful I love this colour um, so we've got teal and then we've got magical mist which is a premixed glitter that will match so first things first I am literally just going to do this off camera because it'll be really much quicker and um, it won't be so boring for you but I'm just going to do the base colours on each nail so one is going to be scarlet the next one is going to be purple haze and the next one is going to be teal and then I'll come back here so we can get on with the design part of it. Okay, I've done the base colours so we can now go in with our like sort of design part now. So I'm going to use the Duchess for the red, of course. I'm just making sure that my brush is clean of any colour that I've just used. And then I'm going to place a bead of the glitter in the centre of the nail. And I'm basically going to pull it in every direction. So I'm going to pull it down, and I'm going to pull it out, I'm going to pull it up, I'm going to pull it every way I can. I don't want it to go quite out that far. But I don't want it to be like a big, thick, um, what's the word? Like, I don't want it to be like, I don't want you to be able to see like a shape of the glitter, I want it to just blend nicely. So we're going to pull it down, get a few specks down there, a few specks further over, a few specks further up. Pattern it out to make sure it's nice and flat. And then once I've done that and that's all nicely blended, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other two. Okay, so it's just in the centre. So I'm going to get the purple one for the purple nail. Do the exact same thing, so place it in the middle, pull it down, pull it up, and then just sort of blend out the sides. Not too worried about the coverage of the glitter at the moment. Oh gosh, sorry. Um, I'm just worried about just getting it blended around those side, around the edges of the glitter. And then once I'm happy with that, I can just basically fill in the middle area. Then I make sure it's nice and good coverage glitter in that centre area, so it does look like it's fading outwards. And once I've done that, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the teal colour. So we're using the, I can't even remember what it's called actually, this glitter, magical something. I showed you at the beginning anyway, but I just can't remember off the top of my head what it's called. So I'm doing the same thing again. This glitter is slightly different. It's got different cuts of glitter in it, so I am just... Putting a little bit more effort into the blend of this one because there are some chunky pieces. So I'm just making sure that those chunky pieces don't end up like in the areas where I'm trying to blend out. Else, well, obviously, it's not going to look blended. I also don't want a piece of red glitter in this. <laughs> and then once again, once I'm happy with the outside, I can then go into the centre and just make that a little bit more opaque so the blend is even better perfect now once I'm happy with that that's that one done so that's those three that's what they look like so far so I'm just going to um, wait for these to set of course and then I will um, cap them off camera or file them off camera and then we can come back to do 
the rest of the design on top of the acrylic. Okay, so this is what the nails look like when I have capped and filed them all. I just need to wipe over them with some acetone just to get rid of those scratches that I've just created with my file. So I'm just going to do that now. And that will just melt the very top layer so it'll get rid of all those scratches and saves me like having to buff and all that sort of thing but will also make that top layer a little bit sticky so everything you do after will still stick so now i've done that this is what they look like very cute love this one um so what i'm going to be doing is we're going to be doing an outline on them and also stamping over the glittery part and then we can top coat and see how they turned out so for the outlines i'm going to be using gel paint and chrome so these are the chromes that I've chosen for these nails obviously this one will go with this one and it's called amethyst chrome and then this one is for sorry that's reflecting this one is for this one and it's called topaz and then this one is for the red and it's called ruby so the way that I'm going to apply these is with a gel paint that doesn't have a tacky layer so I can literally just go straight in with the gel paint create my design around the nail, pop it in the lamp, fully cure it, and then apply the chrome on top. So I'm gonna be using black gel paint for this process under all of the chromes. I'm just gonna get my palette and make sure that it's nice and clean, first of all. And then I'm just gonna get my nail art brush. I'm just gonna create a line around the whole nail. It's not gonna be perfect. I want it to be like a, a squiggly line so this is the best thing to do because obviously you're literally doing it not perfect like basically on purpose which makes it super easy so i'm just going to get some product on my brush and i'm using a long liner brush and i'm just going all the way down to the bottom of the nail you just one thing you want to make sure of is that your your gel paint is thick enough um in application for chrome Let's get to the bottom and then I'm going to do the other side and just make sure that, that links up to there at the bottom. Perfect. I'm not going to do this for all of them on camera, like I will just do it quickly off camera when I've done this one. Um, but yeah, so I'm not really too bothered about having like a perfectly straight line, so I'm just wiggling my brush around a little bit just to make it purposely uneven. Bringing that all the way to the top, not bring it to a point though, because obviously we've got rounded edges. Bring that bit round and then bring this side round. And then we just need to link them together. So again, just making sure the application is thick enough. I'm just getting rid of a little hair there before that sabotages me so I'm just doing that all the way around the nail making sure it's thick enough all the way around and then once I'm happy with it I'll pop it into the lamp for a full cure I'll do the other two really quickly just off camera and then we can apply our chromes so I'm happy with this one I'm going to pop this straight in this bit up here is a little bit thin so I'm just going to build that up a little bit add a bit more product there there we go, and I'm going to pop that into the lamp. So once that's out of the lamp, I'm going to get my, um, what's it called, my chrome, and I'm going to get a applicator. I use the little, what are they called, eyeshadow applicators for chrome application. Just there, so if I could just grab hold of one. I've got my charger in the way, so it's stopping me from getting it. There we go, so I'm just going to go into my chrome. You really don't need a lot on your on your like applicator or whatever you're using at all because we're only just doing obviously that really thin line and a little bit really does go a long way it's not focused very useful i think it's because it's such a small thing and i'm moving it around a lot but i'll show you in a second how it looks when it's all covered so i'm really making sure it's all covered obviously we don't want to see that black and then once i've done that i'm just going to dust it off to get rid of the excess which I'm not too bothered about making sure that all of the excess is off because obviously it just adds to the effect if we've got some left over. So I'm not too bothered about getting it all off, but I'm just going to give it a good brush. I'm just going to apply the red chrome now. 
and then I'm just going to do the teal one and then we can add some stamping but the stamping is going to be really simple it's literally just going to be an image big enough to basically just cover the glitter area again just dusting off the excess if I wanted to get more of the excess off I'd use a lint free wipe and just go around the outside but to be honest I think it's going to look quite nice having like a faded inwards chrome effect on it so I'm just going to leave it if there is any excess on there so last but not least I'm just going to do the teal one Okay, so I'm just going to do this last one. I absolutely love this colour of chrome. It is beautiful. I think this is my favourite Tears Beauty chrome. Like, it is absolutely stunning. This topaz one it really is beautiful. So I'm just going to dust off all the excess out of the way of the camera quick. And then once I've done that, we're going to go in with the stamping. So I'm going to do, let me just show you the plates I'm going to be using. So obviously we've got a red, purple and a teal nail. So I've got three stamping plates here because I'm going to use something off each of them. Let me just get a cotton pad to clean them off, make sure they're ready for me to use. So for one of the nails, I haven't figured out which one I'm going to use for which and stuff like that yet. But for one of them, I'm definitely using these stars here because they're really cute. So I'm going to use those for one. And then I'm going to use this floral sort of pattern down here, which is beautiful. So this plate is from Moira and it is the step-by-step -step plate 58. And this one is plate 93, Blossometry 2. And I'm going to use one of these. And then for the third nail, I'm going to use a dream catcher because it's just something a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to use this one here just because it's small and will fit perfectly. So I think, so we've got a dream catcher, flowers and stars. I think I'm going to do the dream catcher on here, the flower on the purple and then the stars on the red. So I'm just going to get a bit of kitchen roll and pop that here. So I'm just going to get my stamper and scraper, so I'm not going to be able to do much without those. So I'm going to be doing all the stamping in white, just so it all ties in together. I'm going to do my floral one first. I'm going to put this out of the way of the camera. I'm not actually doing this as like a stamping tutorial. It's more like a design idea sort of thing. So I'm not going to show you exactly me like scraping the plate and all that sort of thing. Just because I've already got plenty of videos on that, so it feels a bit pointless because I've got videos specifically for that so like I said I'm going to do the flowers on the purple nail so I'm just going to give my polish a shake she says can't even open the thing and then I'm just going to pop that straight over my image pull down the problem with me doing stamping on camera is that my phone camera absolutely hates the plates it just will not focus and it's really frustrating so I've got to bear that in mind and keep them out of the way of the camera and then once I've done that, I'm just going to place that straight over the top of the glitter area. So that's that one. Next up, I'm doing the teal, which is going to be the green catcher nail. So I'm getting that one ready. Again, same application. I'm just popping my, my polish above the image using my scraper at a 45 degree angle to pull it down. And then scooping over it with my stamper, getting off any excess. And we're going straight in. Very cute. I love these little images. They're really, really sweet. And then once I've done that, we're going to do the um, stars. So I am going to take some of the stars off because there's far too many on there. I don't want that many. So first of all, I'm just going to scrape. Pick up the image. And then I'm going to take some off because I don't want all of them. So I'm obviously going to get rid of the one that's half done because that's a bit pointless. Go to this one and that one and that one, I think. And up there. And this one. And then I've got three at the bottom. And I'm going to pop this on the red nail. Like so. And that's that one. So all we need to do now is top coat. So I'm just going to have a quick tidy up and then we can do that together. So let's get into top coat in. Let's just throw it on. Very excited to see how they look. 
and everything is nice and shiny. You can also do this with gel, of course, but I just happened to have just finished filming an acrylic video and I had some acrylic liquid left over, so I thought, stuff it, let's think of something to do with some more acrylic. So that is the beautiful red nail. I love how that one's turned out. Let's pop that in the lamp. I'm going to go in with the teal nail. I love this colour. I think these colours go together beautifully. So that's the teal one. And then last but not least, we've got the purple one. love this one as well actually to be honest i like all three let me know which one of your favorite is and if you'd wear this design obviously on a much smaller scale there's that one as well so here they are all finished i absolutely love how they turned out let me know whether you like them or not and like i said let me know which one your favorite is thank you so so much for watching as always and i'll be back really really soon with another video Bye.